Eileen Goodwin with another devotion from the book of Proverbs. And today I just want to talk about the important theme of handling criticism. What an important practical devotion to talk about today. And criticism doesn't lessen even as you get older. In fact, it sometimes gets harder because we are in an ever growing, increasingly cynical world. It doesn't matter how thick skin you might think you are, or how thick skin you say that you are, the reality is no one is totally comfortable at receiving criticism. I don't care what personality type you are, criticism is not something that we would naturally welcome and enjoy. In fact, probably criticism really stings our self-esteem and can make us feel defensive, can make us feel edgy. And it's an inevitable part of life that we will, at some point, receive criticism. So if we can't avoid it, we better get ready and prepared to handle it with maturity and turn it into something constructive. We cannot afford to ignore and blank out criticism because that's dangerous for our well-being and health as well. We also cannot afford to allow criticism to eat away inside of us so that it becomes a relationship breaker or something that is soul destroying to who we are in our gift, our potential as human beings. In Proverbs 15 verses 31 to 33, it says this, if you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home with the wise. If you reject discipline, you will only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom, humility precedes honour. A person who feels that they stand above being corrected and criticised is in a very dangerous place. As believers, we need to have a teachable spirit throughout the entirety of our lives. If you have been criticised recently and the words that were spoke over you have stung you, then perhaps the following wisdom will help you to process it. First of all, did the person come with a constructive spirit that meant well? It's always important to try and evaluate that. Secondly, whatever the intention lying behind the criticism, is there some aspect of what was said that could be a positive takeout that will grow you into a better person if you are prepared to humbly accept it? Number three, be honest with yourself about your own personal insecurities and vulnerabilities and how those things play out and affect your response. Fourthly, don't allow criticism to crush your personal confidence. Some people will find that they are fragile and maybe it's the way you've been brought up, It maybe it's the influences, maybe you've been cocooned from a critical environment and then to find it suddenly being directed towards you is tough. So don't allow it to crush your personal confidence. Fifthly, sift through what has been said and only take on board that which is helpful. And then finally, don't harbour pain as that will only obstruct your personal growth. Chris Ware stated that one of the most valuable pieces of advice he received from his art teacher when he was developing his skill, he said, don't get upset by criticism, value the fact that at least someone noticed what you did. And the very famous wartime British Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, probably faced more criticism than most, especially when you're in such public office. Criticism may not be agreeable, but it is necessary. It fulfills the same function as pain in the human body. It calls attention to an unhealthy state of things. I hope these practical things from Proverbs are just helpful for you as you perhaps learn to process criticism in your own private personal world every blessing to you for now bye